the Wendigo. You heard a lot about that all over the North Country back in the old days. It was a myth passed down from the local tribes up this way. But to them, it wasn't just some campfire story. They believed it. They feared it. Some of these are the trees up there. Yeah, they're warnings. The local tribes carved them before they fled. Fled? Yeah, they knew the power of that place. They felt its pull. They came to believe that those woods belonged to something else. The, the ground was bad. Sour. The ground is sour. Yeah. So they moved on. But not before they built that deadfall. They built it to keep people out. But it didn't keep people out. Uh, the Wendigo may just be some crazy folk tale. But there is something up there. Something that brings things back. So what happened to your dog, Judd? He came back. Just like Stanny B said he would. But he was changed. It was when he went after my mother that my daddy put him down. For the second time. I thought it would be different with Ellie's cat. I mean, Biff had a mean streak to begin with. But Church, well, was a nice cat. I tried to hurt Gage. I'm so sorry, Lewis. I am. Once you feel the power of that place, you make up the sweetest smelling reasons to go back. But I was wrong. Sometimes dead is better. Oh, so just gonna go to sleep. Damn it, Church. Come on, just. Good luck. <laughs> 